Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to fix Apple Music not working issue after updating to iOS 17. So guys, Apple Music is a music app that is widely used by many users of iPhone. But many users have, have who have upgrade to iOS 17 claim that Apple Music application keep crashing or just stuck on a certain page. In a word. Apple Music cannot be used as normal offer after the iOS 17 update. So let's start the video and fix the issue. First of all, simply have to update Apple Music. The outdated Apple Music version may have capital problem with iOS 17. So some feature or the whole app just keep crashing. So you have to make sure that the Apple Music is up to date. After this, then you have to do is force restart your iPhone. The built-in iOS, uh, iOS software bugs may affect apps running, causing Apple Music not working after iOS 17 update. By restarting iPhone, it per perhaps clean up most bugs on your iOS sy systems, as it can briefly refresh the iPhone system. For starting your iPhone, simply have to hold and quickly release the volume up button, then hold and quickly release the volume down button, and then simply hold uh, hold the volume uh, hold the side button until the apple logo appears after force is starting then you have to close and reopen the music app sometimes just simply closing and opening the the app can resolve minor issues in app simply open the music app and then close it and try reopening it again and see if the issue solved or not after applying this all solution and you're still facing the same issue again and again then you have to do is install the app after everything, if it is still not working, try deleting and installing the app. To do this, simply have to tap and hold here and to simply remove app and tap on delete app and delete the app and then simply install it again from your app store. After this and you are still facing the same issue, then you have to reset all settings on your iPhone. Tap on your settings and then go to general, scroll down and then tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on reset, tap on reset all settings, enter your passcode and fix your issue. So guys, if this video helps you then make sure to like and subscribe my YouTube channel for upcoming videos and thanks for watching.